Good afternoon, guys. This is Latina Brown, your favorite community advocate. I have a little piece of advice for the elected officials. You claim that people are entitled to or have the right to organize and support a candidate of their choice and that you believe in freedom of democracy, correct? Why on earth would you try to stop the Dominican community for supporting uh, a rally to support Trump, which is their right, it's their freedom of speech, it's their First Amendment. Why on earth would you try to stop that? You know, you don't think that that will push the Dominican community away from the Democratic Party and make them even more angrier? I mean, it's bad enough that people are upset that the elected officials continue to ignore and neglect their own constituents and put the illegal migrants over us their needs before our needs i think the dominicans are tired of elected officials trying to control and make them vote for a candidate that they think is best for them and it's not just the dominicans that's tired of the crap it's the black community it's the jewish community the italians the asians all of us all of us including the white community you know um You've taken us for granted for such a long time. No politician own their voters. You do not own us. You do not make, you do not have a say in what goes on in our community or what we should do as voters to vote for that leader to best represent us. You know, some of you take your positions too far and it's going to blow back at you, right? Now, you know, you have this rally that's coming up and I'm so proud of our Dominican brothers and sisters for finally standing up to the elected officials and just overall to the party for their neglect of the people. And this is just the, just the, just the beginning. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm all for it. I'm going to stand with you guys and I don't care if it's, you know, Asians for Trump or, you know, the Italian community for Trump. I just want to see people speaking up for themselves and not be punished for organizing and, and exercising their freedom of speech and their First Amendment. It is your right. And to our law enforcement, I love my law enforcement, but some of you, some of you take your marching orders from the top and make things very political. And to my understanding, law enforcement you're not supposed to get involved in politics. You're supposed to remain neutral. Do your job because you are funded by the taxpayers and the same goes to, to the elected officials. Do your job, stay out of it, you know? Let people organize on their own. And to the counter protesters, you know, you are well within your right to do a counter protest. We will not stop you from that. But let's be realistic and keep it real. If you're not respectful, when you're holding these protests, then, you know, I feel sorry for you guys because we will not stoop to your level. Um, we're going to keep the rally very respectful and peaceful and we will not entertain whatever it is that you guys think that you're going to do to try to disrupt the peace. Because as I said before, everybody has a right to organize. You have a right to mobilize your voting block. You know, you have the right to get out the vote to the community, regardless if it's a Democrat or Republican, conservative, independent, whatever the case may be. Be respectful and be be um, kind to one another. And that goes the same. The same goes for the elected officials, because you're going to be on cameras. You know, you're going to be on social media. So please, please be mindful. And I'm sorry that you hear the noise outdoors. My windows open. So <laughs> pretty sure you hear the, the whole like police cars and everything. But anyway, God bless you all. And remember, live good and be good to one another. Thank you.